it's your boy JTMM, aka just 10 more minutes, aka the freaking 10 back again. This time closing out wallflowers. Kind of uh, kind of sad about it because this CD for me has been just truly eye-opening. I've known Tatiana's brilliant with their lyrics, and I've said it so many times with all of their songs that I've covered. But this one, because they do such an introspective look at themselves, um, and specifically Tatiana, as I've you know seen in in articles that she said it's therapy for, um, is just uh, it, lyrically it's fascinating because you know when I write a song, um, and I may just be walking around the house or in the car, you know, thinking about something, and then I kind of sing a response to it. Um, and then I'll just make up the lyrics as I go. It, the vi the vivid pictures that she paints, right? And the way she tells the story um, is just amazing. And, and I've been thinking about doing it, but I think I'm going to launch a new series um, it, that might be something similar where I actually do kind of a top five or a top ten uh, lyric of either all time or a genre or something that I've heard, maybe all the videos that I've covered, I'll kind of do a top five. Um, just kind of a thought there. But but that one was really just the last one, you know, with um, Dead Hands Feel No Pain was great. But Sleep of the Righteous is still my absolute favorite. But everything from Mediator to Disclosure, Wallflower, I mean, all of these songs have been such an introspective look. They've all been fascinating. So it's kind of bittersweet. Um, of closing this out with uh, As I Boil Ice, but at the same time, knowing that they're working on a new album um, is very exciting because I plan on covering it all the way. Um, I also want to cover some of their live stuff that they've done, whether it's repeats of the songs or not. I'm not as worried about I really love watching them live and watching the crowd. Similar to what I've done with Nightwish. I just did Tribal. I'm going to do more Nightwish from Hellfest, uh, Hellfest as well. But kind of do the same with Ginger just because I enjoy their music so much. So with that being said, I've got the lyrics right here. Let's switch it up and get to it. All right, let's go. Okay. This is effing brilliant. Yep. Okay, I gotta stop there. Wow. Holy hell. Okay, I have to look this up. And I always do everything live, so I'm not. But I want to see. Um... Where. And this is where, you know, I told you about the Internet problems I was having. Um... But I'm interested to see where this one truly fits. So I'll have to wait for that to load. Um, this is just insane. What does a man have to do to get a piece of you? What does a man have to become to make it through? What does a man have to do to get a piece of you? What does a man have to become to make it through? The rest enjoy a hot bath as I boil ice. And I boil ice. The, they fly with the wind as I put a dead horse to the cart. Oh, God. 
and then this part right here the sp the spoken word and then the mix and then the spoken and then ooh that almost gave me goosebumps others meditate as i pr promote calamity watch me disintegrate disintegrate so rapidly others meditate as i promote calamity watch me disintegrate disintegrate so rapidly wow okay I don't know how far back I'm going, but I just have to listen to that last little bit, at least part of it again. Okay, so I didn't go back as far as I thought. But that, man, that spoken word and the song and the beat and just that da 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 da. And I've, I've said it many, many, many times before, and I, I've maybe I'll see it again in the concert, but there's that one song, you know, and you'll see it every now and then where she kind of gets that little hip hop vibe to her. Um, and kind of goes into that rap type of little, uh, of spoken word and just brings that other element of an artistry to herself. And this is no difference, right? The spoken and the singing and the spoken. Frickin' A, I love it. Oh, this one's going to give... This one's going to give a sleep of the righteous the money. They'll run for the money. All right. So the last line I'll get into the next one, it says, for the million time I've got. So we'll continue from there. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there. This one's sick. And, and I believe I was trying to look it up. And, and unfortunately, it's just the problem that I have with my uh, computer at the time because it doesn't like to respond as quickly. Um, and I'm trying to get it fixed, but that, that'll be when I buy a new one. But if I remember correctly, this one truly closes the, the CD out. And this is a banger. I mean, this one's sick. For the millionth time I got something to complain about. Where is my zest? Interest. You gave me wrong address. Whom do I address all my complaints? What kind of mood were you in when you clapped me together? Accidentally. Sick and fatigued. Unaspired half asleep. Then threw me in a box. Sent me to the earth. The manual is lost somewhere in the post. And actually, I haven't even read it thinking about what it's about, because I'm really not quite sure, to be honest with you. I'm lost in the brilliance of the music and the lyrics and the sound. This one, like all their songs, is very well put together, but there's there's just a different level with this one that really hits with me. Let's keep it going. I, I'm fascinated by this. Everything is possible. 
Nice play. Versa Vice, not vice versa. Switch. Spoken or sung? You're bringing it down. Single vocals, brilliant. To get a piece of you, every piece of you. A piece of you. Nice. Every piece of you. And how are they going to end it? And I am missing a few details. You can't name them all. So what I do, what I do best. Excuse me. So I do what I do best. I wallpaper when there is no wall. I can't think positive. Everything around screams impossible as I boil ice. As everything is versa vice. What is happiness? What is inner peace? What does a man have to do? To get a piece of you, every piece of you, a piece of you, every piece of you. This just, I, I really like that line here of I can't think positive, everything around screams impossible, as I boil ice, as everything is versa vice. It just sounds like a battle with depression. As everything is versa vice, up, down, left, man. This hit songs, excuse me, this song hits differently. And, and I'll applaud you if y'all can hear that kind of humming in the background, the neighbors doing woodwork next door. And unfortunately, that's right outside my office. Um, but this song hits differently in the sense of just not from a storytelling, right? Because it's still got this darkness to it. And, and I'm assuming it's an inner battle, right? We're talking about, you know, accidentally sick and fatigue, uninspired, half asleep. What kind of mood were you in when you clap me together? And then talking about, again, I can't think positive. Everything around screens impossible as a boy of ice as everything is verse of ice. And then talking about what is happiness, what is inner peace, what does a man have to do to get a piece of you? And that just, with the music, the spoken, the, the singing, and then that ending. And I do believe, I was trying to look it up to see. Um, okay, no, so As I Boil Ice was number 10, and then Mediator was number 11, so they closed out Mediator. Um... I was thinking, okay, what a what a cool way. Now, closing it out Mediator, pretty cool. But if you were to close the CD, the last impression you get, right, is this talk of inner peace and this talk of, you know, how do you get it and what does it take for a man to become uh, to get through to you? And, oh. I'm now trying to think about if, if, if this one surpasses um sleep of the righteous no i think this one now moves into second and dead hands feel no pain moves into third um because the sleep of the righteous is just such a well-told story um combined with the music it just it really hit on all cylinders for me this one's a close second the music and the 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 lyrics and just the way that they put it together mixed with the vocals and her range um 
was special, especially closing out the song with kind of her just singing, but it's that soft side of her that you know is there. But at the same time, just looking, you know, knowing that if she wanted to mess you up, she'd mess you up. Um, wow. All right, let me switch it up and give you my final thoughts here. So we've closed out Wallflowers. Um, I honestly am glad I went this route and not following, you know, the exact um, track number. I just kind of picked a song and then saw the next one and picked it and said, okay. And then I started seeing it. And so I was thinking this was the last one and not Mediator. This CD is by far my favorite of theirs. Um, simply, I like when songs get deep like this and tell just that inner story. Because again, we all go through stuff, right? And we all feel a lot like she does probably quite a bit. And it's why we connect with her so much. To have her express this and put this out there in song and you learn more about her just as a human, for me, just takes that respect level up a notch um, and puts her up there with some of the greatest lyrics that I've I've heard personally. Um, and I'm not a spring chicken. So to see this and and close the CD out with this is is bittersweet. But at the same time, closing it this way now, hearing the song, it is a perfect ending um, to this. Now, it's not stopping any of the Ginger covers. As I said, I want to do some of their live stuff now, as I'm doing with Nightwish. Um, so don't think this is the last Ginger video. I want to find out, you know, go look and see what their lives uh, versions were, I know they've done quite a few concerts, so I want to go out there and see what's out there so I can cover now and see what it looks like live. With that being said, perfect closure to this CD. I look forward to doing more of their songs. Um, yeah, it's just, I feel that rush of covering Ginger and it's just that high is kind of coming off knowing it's the last song. Um, but it does make me kind of look forward to more of the performance and see as she's performing and as the bands are as the band is performing how how are they responding physically right how, what is the crowd doing when they're watching are they kind of closing their eyes and picturing it or are they totally rocking yeah that has me fascinated i want to see cuz that really plays a dynamic from a social stance of if people truly read the lyrics and kind of understand where she's written it from is it something where they're truly rocking out or kind of are they as fascinated as with it as I am? So it'll be interesting to see. But with that being said, let me kind of always give that shameless plug. If you like the video, hit me that uh, like button and leave me a comment. If you like the content I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button. I put out content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes some bonus material. This one's coming out on a Tuesday. Uh, I did just back-to-back -back record it uh, with Dead Hands Feel No Pain. Um, somebody requested I do those in the same video. But because these videos can be longer, I decided to split them but release them on back-to-back -back days. So for the subscriber that requested that, I hope this kind of helps. I did them back-to-back, -back, but you'll see them on separate days. With that being said, I've got um, Stormtroopers, which is coming out today along, or excuse me, yesterday, um, along with uh, more songs this week, Slaughter to Prevail, uh, Falling in Reverse, um, Nightwish, more from Hellfe Hellfest, more Sabaton coming. So definitely look for those coming out this week. I appreciate you as always. And always remember, my friends, if someone asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two, and certainly don't ask for five. Someone asks you to stop what you're doing, Always ask for just 10 more minutes. I'm JTMM. I am out.